So where I am here, I'm in the intelligence. So I went into uh, CrowdStrike uh, and I wanted to look for uh, an indicator. So this is, uh, I'm searching their intelligence to see if there's something there. So here's the scenario. You have an employee that's in Australia and they make a call to the help desk and they say, hey, I think I clicked on a phishing email. And I don't know if it's phishing or not, but now that I, I'm looking back, it might have been a phishing email. Um, this was the domain that was associated with it. And they give you a domain, and the domain is uh, mcvjscvx.ug. And you're like, okay, let me let me see what's about it. So if you, you go on August 5th, you did this. Yes, on August 5th. And you can walk through and you can say, okay, what what do we know about this? And as I, as I go down, um, we can see that this is um, – um, it's the other detections have happened, but there's there's no real. Um, let me go back one more time. Sorry about that. It's an information stealer. And it's criminal. Okay, and then these are all the events that happened on August fifth. So that's when this occurred. So, but there's no other intelligence on that. So now what I want to do is I want to take that domain and I'm going to go to Risk IQ Passive Total into the Threat Portal and I'm going to do a search from there. Okay, and I'm going to see if I can find out any additional information and what I can do to see what happened. Okay, so if I go to Risk IQ Passive Total, I'm going to put this in the chat. So this is the um, the domain that we're going to search for. Okay, remember, don't go there directly. Copy and paste it into Risk IQ into the search here to find it. So here we go. Okay. Okay, because it's not defanged. Okay, so. Inside of here, I'm going to just search for this. So if I search for an indicator, if I typed in Iran, I would see any article around Iran. If I typed in an IP or a domain. So now I'm going to search for this. So immediately, I get the paths of total information. Okay. Uh, I get the hashes. I get projects associated with it. But then I got a hit on an article. So very cool. I got a hit on it. So now I know, hey, there's something, somebody published something that had that indicator and that domain. So now it's Vendetta, so I can click on it, and now I'm starting to see this, this uh, information. So if I want to read the blog, I can come in here and open that up in another tab, and I now have that real article. I can read about this and see, okay, it's some malware, okay, uh, Australia, okay, there, and here's information about how it works, RoboSki, okay, uh, Res0, Okay, so I have this information now. So I have some additional intelligence. So what I can do now is I have I have these community indicators, but I have these enterprise in indicators. And there's a lot more enterprise things that were out there. So I'm going to now demonstrate the CrowdScrape um, plugin. So I have it installed. I had to put in my API key, and from that, if I on my Mac, if I hit Command S, it launches this. Uh, CrowdScrape, and I can come in here and say scan the page. Well, let me refresh. Oops, cancel. Okay, I got all the indicators. Okay, so it sucked them all in from the page. So now I can say graph, and when I graph it, it's going to graph my environment to say who in my environment has communicated to any of these indicators. It doesn't make uh, detection, it's just showing you that graph of where that information uh, overlaps. So these domains and IPs, what machines hit them? And that's that machine, but it also hit another domain. Okay, so um, this one, they had this uh, K-Pot stealer. They know that first domain, but this other one was unknown to the threat intel of CrowdStrike. But together now, you're more protected. You got 360 degree visibility, more information from the outside coming into the inside to protect you. So, Brendan, am I missing anything on that one? No, I think that covers it really well. You can also click on the indicators and it'll pop out that little um, box on the side. So, like uh, Benjamin was just mentioning, you know, that one on the bottom doesn't have any related intelligence, but the, the upper one does uh, have some information tied to a particular malware family and it, it shows you those related indicators that um, like the hashes that are associated with it. So you can see, you know, when we do have indicators that are tied to particular uh, threat actors or malware families, all that's gonna be 
there um, when we map it out on that CrowdScrape uh, plugin, even if your you know devices haven't communicated with it. So those other domains, you know, that don't have the little line that points to the host, uh, are ones that we know about um, that you know have all that relevant data, even though your devices didn't uh, communicate with it. For more information about RiskIQ products and services, 